The City of Globe has 7,600 registered voters. There are two candidates for City Council in an upcoming election, Brown and Feliz. The day before the election, a telephone poll of 600 randomly selected registered voters was conducted. 196 said they'd vote for Brown, 358 said they'd vote for Feliz, and 46 were undecided. Give the sample statistic for the percentage of voters surveyed who said they'd vote for Brown. Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a percent. Well, there were 600 voters surveyed. Of the 600, 196 said they'd vote for Brown. And therefore, the fraction that voted for Brown would be 196 out of 600, giving us the fraction 196 over 600. And now we need to convert this fraction to a percent to the nearest tenth of a percent. We first convert to a decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator, which gives us 196 divided by 600. We'll have to round the decimal to three decimal places or the thousandths place value in order for the percent to be rounded to the tenths place value or one decimal place. Because we have a six in the fourth decimal place, we round up to 0 0.327. And now to convert the decimal to a percent, we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign or move the decimal point right two places, which gives us 32.7%. So now we know approximately 32.7% of the surveyed voters said they would vote for Brown. And notice how if we go back to the calculator, if we enter 0 0.327, and multiply by 100, we do get 32.7, giving us 32.7%. And now for the second part, this sample statistic suggests that we might expect how many of the 7,600 registered voters to vote for Brown. We would expect approximately 32.7% of the 7,600 voters to vote for Brown, but if we use this percent here, we will have an error because this is rounded. So let's find the fraction of the 7,600 voters that will vote for Brown by using this fraction here, which is exact. To find the fraction of a number, we take the fraction and multiply by that number, which gives us 196 over 600 times 7,600. And just to show the difference, let's also find 32.7% of 7,600 to find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply, and we know the decimal is 0 0.327. So we'd have 0 0.327 times 7,600. Again, these answers will be close, but this product here will have more of an error. And we are told to round to the nearest person. So let's first use the fraction of 196 over 600 times 7,600. To the nearest whole number or voter, we have 2,483. We round up because of the six in the tenths place value. And now let's also find 0 0.327 times 7,600. And notice how here, if we round to the nearest whole number, we have 2,485. and the 2,483 is more accurate. So we expect 2,483 of the 7,600 registered voters to vote for Brown. I hope you found this helpful.